I have got into several discussions with some people who have a tendency to believe that inflation is divine. And what I've been trying to point out to many is that how can inflation be divine? How can we have a gas shortage when a uh, gasoline shortage when Venezuela is sitting on a pool of oil? And because they don't want a they don't want the oil to. In, and I, first of all, let me put it this way. I'd like you to I want to know if you agree with this. My contention is we're not exploiting Venezuelan oil because the corporations uh, under the current Venezuelan government cannot control, uh, cannot control it. In other words, uh, the, the, the basic tenet behind Venezuela is that the oil resources belong to the people. And I know there's corruption, et cetera, et cetera, but that was Chavez's main tenet. Right. Yeah, no, I, I could not agree more. And I think, you know, I don't mean to be impolite, but the, the economic literacy in the United States has not been developed uh, as, as polite as I know how to be. But let me explain. An inflation is a word that simply describes a general rise in the price of pretty much everything. Not everything the same amount. Right. You know, food goes up this amount and fuel goes up that amount and uh, rent goes up. And, but in general, prices are rising. Okay, let's begin the basic economics. Who determines a price. In other words, who raises it if it's Those going Those with up? price and power. Right. And that's called the employer class. Right. Roughly, roughly in the United States, 1% of our people are employers. The other 99% aren't. The other 90%, 99%, we're the ones who pay the prices, but we don't set, sell them. Uh, set them. Even anyone who's listening who, who ever had a job knows that if you're not the employer or you're not on the board of directors of the corporation, no one ever asks your opinion about setting the prices of what's produced in the company where you work. A tiny number of people. So if you're not happy with prices going up, the anger or the upset or the question should be directed at the 1% of our people who are in the position to do it. Moreover, we live in a capitalist system which allows them, because they are quote unquote free enterprises, to jack up the price whenever the hell they wish to. All right, second point, and I'm just being an economics teacher here. Why do employers make the decisions they do, including the raising of a price? The answer is that the employer's every action is dictated by what they themselves tell us dictates it, namely to make money. They're in business, to, to profit is their bottom line, they tell us. They are taught in business school, and I've taught in business schools, they are taught Every decision you make should be geared towards, will it improve your profitability or will it not? If you raise your profits, your career goes up. If you don't, your career goes into the toilet. Okay, so the honest answer to why employers raise prices is the same answer every kid in, in business school writes on his or her exam. It's because it's profitable. If you think you can get away by charging more, that's your job to do it. I'll remind you of a famous saying that describes capitalism. The seller always sells at the best price the market will bear. Uh-huh. You know what that means? You jack up the price if you can get away with it. So we have an inflation because businesses think they're in a situation where they can get away with raising the price. And in many cases, they're right. But that's why we have it. It's not from God. It's not divine. It's not like a, like a rainfall coming out of nature. And by the way, let me, let me end this by reminding folks of a Republican conservative president named Richard Nixon. On August 15th, 1971, he went on radio and television. He was the president at the time. And he said, we've got a terrible inflation. And here's what I'm going to do. And he declared what came to be known as a wage, wage price, price freeze. Yeah. Okay. And what, here's what he said. 
as of tomorrow, we gave the talk in the uh, late afternoon or evening. As of tomorrow morning, if you're a business and if you raise your price, we're going to arrest you and throw you into jail. Because <laughs> guess what? The inflation stopped on a dime. There is no issue here. There's no big fat complexity. If, if you were an honest society, you would be debating right now the pros and cons of what they're doing now, which is not stopping the inflation, currently running eight and a half percent, according to the government release yesterday. Uh, every, everything you do now, including doing nothing, has all kinds of consequences. But we don't even have a discussion. We don't even have a debate. When I explain to people the history of Mr. Nixon, most of my audience never heard about it. This is new news for them that we've solved the problem. So again, it is this sad bubble of, of self-imposed ignorance that, that people like you open up by your work, by your exposing these kinds of things. But it's really tragic for a country with the mounting problems we have to be as childishly narrow in what it thinks about, let alone discusses. That is why I love to have you because you really, I, I think, first of all, given, given what you do, it ensures that people get exactly what we're talking about here, educated. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.